Hello there ladies and gentlemen of the internet, Crawling UK here with Siberia 2, part 2 of my playthrough. Uh, I've got to get some coal for my train. Uh, that's the only way I can leave this uh, place. And I'm just looking around now, underneath what I believe is like a coal machine, that I can put, load my train up with coal. Out of luck. The can's empty. I'm gonna see if I can find somewhere to fill it. Okay, so I've got an oil can already, so let's have a look. A petrol-driven generator. Now where could I find some fuel? Yep, so you need to put some in the can. Okay. I'm gonna walk along this underground area. Oh, it scrolls. That's new for Siberia. Normally it was just kind of stationary screens. <laughs> That's quite cool. Is that a gate? Oh, honestly, oh, I mean to say, what, a, what is it this time? Shut it, right? You hugging jerry roll, or else you'll be answering to me. And what is it now? Huh? Good day, sir. Don't go in telling me. <laughs> what can I do for you, ma'am? My name's Kate Walker. I just got here. A pretty little thing so far from home. Where are you from, lovebird? From... from New York. New York, eh? Hey, <laughs> well, I never... Are you travelling alone, ma'am? No, no, I'm traveling with two companions. I came by train. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Sir, I'd like to... Look, we ain't got no time to waste with you, sugar mitts. Try not being quite so pushy. <laughs> You're starting to give me and my brother ideas, right? <laughs> mm. I see. Be a pity if something nasty happened to you, my little pouty lips. <laughs> I need coal for my train, but the coal dispenser has run out of gasoline. I thought you might be able to sell me a bit of fuel. So, you're ready leaving? Sorry, we ain't got no gas. Ain't got no gas at all. But what's that motor noise behind you then? Ah, oh, yeah. That works on electricity, see, miss? <laughs> And that smoke works on electricity, too? Uh, see, uh, what you see ain't your business, miss. Take care of your own backyard and leave me and my brother here to work. Yeah. Leave Igor and uh, Ivan to work. But I need some gas, that's all. We ain't got none. N-O-G-A-S. No gas. N-O. No. Ga uh, no gas. No gas. Hey, sir, I really need some gas, and looks like you've got some here. Oh, patootie, don't know the meaning of no, as in no, we ain't got none. No ga uh, no gas, no gas. I came by train and... So we sewn, me and my bro. Nice machine. No, really. <laughs> No Russian tin can, that baby, or no? Nice train. Nice. Nice. Doo doo. Uh, yeah, actually, it belongs to one of my friends. Must be very rich, your friend, eh? <laughs> doo doo. Not really. He built the train to go looking for sight. Uh, I mean, to realize a kind of dream of his. Dream, you say? Hey, very interesting. What kind of dream needs a pretty train like that, eh? If it's not a personal question. Do do. A childhood dream. <laughs> tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> if I don't get some gas, I can't get any coal, and my train is just going to stay here blocked in this station. And so, what do you want from us? Okay. Seeing as you don't seem to want to help me. <laughs> you might have a point there, my flower. Goodbye now. No. Goodbye. Okay then.
Yeah. What's this? Can I break in? Oh, sounds risky. <laughs> Looks risky. Ah, look at that storage crate there. Some like eyes peering through it. Maybe there is a way to open it, cause a destruction, and steal some gas. What is that thing? Is it a dog? Hey, no, no! Ah! You clam brain blubber bag! Wait till I catch you! Right, okay. I can't move just now, it's just making a noise. Okay, he's run out of the uh, yard, so I can do something. What's this? Nothing here? Okay. Don't really want to be speaking to him. Um, let's see. This one? Yuck! This machinery stinks to high. Can I use the can with it? Yuck! This no. So that smoke is burning wood. Ah, oh, there's a gas can there. That's uh. Can I get to it from this angle? Jerry can. Okay. I think that's it. Let's escape this yard. Can I go that way? No. Don't think there's anything else here. Really, a bit too cold. Okay. Dressed like this, I'd better not hang around too much outside. Okay. I will explode. There's a palace. This path must lead to the monastery. A monastery that's so far away. Maybe I can stop off on my way back from Siberia. <laughs> can have a walk there now. Where are we going? What's this? Need money? I've got money. If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Uh, it doesn't work. That doesn't work. If that's going. That's going to work. And there's just the two things. Smoky. If that's going. No. It's not going to work right now. We can go across the bridge. Let's this path see. must lead to the monastery. Pity it's so far away. Maybe I. Yes. Okay. So basically, that path must lead to must lead <laughs> to the monastery. And the pity it's so far away. We're not going that way, even if I try to go that way. He's boarded up his fence now. I will not be breaking in there again. I've got oil. I will get this machine working. Okay. And then Press the button. The generator's working. Now I just have to get the coal up there. Ah. Don't I have to go up top and press the button? Is there anything over here? There was one man walking about. Oh, she's still there. There's a door here. Let's go inside. Explore before I... Uh, looks like 
how to explain it, it's like a video sequence, so these people are not interactable. Or like an animated GIF. <laughs> yep, I can't go that way. They look a bit freakish. Oh, I can operate it. If that's going to work, it looks like some. Yeah, definitely something missing from that. Nothing I've got anyway. Um, good evening, sir. Good evening, milady, and welcome to the famous Circus Cabaret, haven of all known pleasures and human arts. How may I be of service to you? I've just arrived here. My name's Walker. Kate Walker. You have a charming little town. Uh, well, Miss Walker, allow me to wish you a charming sojourn in our charming town. Oh, I'm afraid I won't be around long. I've got to get going again soon. Okay. This is one strange town you live in, Mr. Sirkos. Only folks come to this town are folks just passing through. Often as not, KG folk come here buying and selling or wheeling and dealing and having themselves a fine old time. After this town, there's nothing but snow, Miss Walker. Mr. Sirkos, those horses on the stage are strangely familiar. Before, I had a performing monkey, but he died at the end of the fall. Climate here is too rough and tumble for intelligent animals. Without my monkey, my cabaret was a sham. But the show must go on, so I dug out these old automatons. Even pretty successful in their time. Let's get them back on stage, I said. It's their mechanism, though, very delicate to regulate, takes several hours. But I invite you, Miss Walker, to watch my new act, Horsebreaker to Mechanical Stallions. <laughs> mm hmm your clockwork horses, Mr. Sirkos. They look so like something a dear friend of mine might have made. Uh, maybe your dear friend is my dear friend. What's his name? Hans. Hans Vorlberg. Hans Vorlberg? Well, I never. It's been years since I've had any news of him. How's he going? Very well. We're traveling together. Oh, Miss Walker. Can you tell Hans to come up here, make an old showman mighty happy? If he could turn a screwdriver to them, their clockwork horses, cause I don't know diddly about automatons. Sure, I'll pass on the message. But I can't promise he'll come. We're kind of short of time, Mr. Sirkos, you understand? Of course, of course, Miss Walker. But tell him anyway, would sure make my day. Mr. Sirkos, say, do a lot of trains pass through here? Not now. Of course, once upon a time, that line was quite a thoroughfare. Now, it's good as abandoned. People going to know you in town, Miss Walker. Mr. Sirkos, I really need to get some coal to continue my journey. But the generator that operates the coal dispenser has run out of gasoline. No. Sorry, my lovely. I've got gasoline. Don't need see to talk about that. Hope to see you back here to catch my... Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go have a chat with Hans. It doesn't look like there's anything else to explore in here. Outside we go. Hi, Malika. To you, yeah. I'm okay. gonna see what I as you like. Nothing to say, so I skipped through that. Ah, that's the guy that was walking around. I wanted to speak to him. How do I speak to him? I don't. I guess just like the uh, weird vehicle guy in the first game. That was well, a couple of guys in the first game, like cleaners and stuff. Just couldn't interact with them. But he looks like you should be able to interact with him. So. I'm expecting at some point that you can. Eh? Did I just walk through him? Okay, you can't speak with the cleaner. 
As I was just mentioning in the first game, there was a cleaner. You could not speak with him. But we will... Ah, uh, cameras. We will speak with Hans and see if he'll come down and fix this clockwork device. Hans? Yes, Kate? Okay, so I find the call. Oh. Do hurry. See you later. Yes. <sighs> That's not very fluid or linear of the story. I said I'd help. <laughs> ah, camera angles. I will always complain about those train camera angles. This game is not intended for a controller, it's intended for a mouse. Alright, let's see what we get if we press this, or pull this lever. We get coal. Lots and lots of coal. Kate Walker! Kate Walker! Something terrible has happened! Okay. Calm down, Oscar. What's happened? Mr. Forelberg has disappeared! Eh? What? He was in the train, and now he isn't! Don't panic, Oscar. He can't have gotten far. I'll go and round him up. He is not in the best of health, Kate Walker. And it is so cold! I know, I know, but calm yourself down. I'll go and look for him right away. Alright, let's see if there is anything left behind first. If he's been kidnapped or something, then they may have dropped something. Maybe a key. Or a clue. Alright, so he's not here. It's extremely empty. But there's... Is that blood? Better not be. Hopefully he's just gone down and realized that his friend's here and he's gone to fix the horses. Um, I'll have a quick look in here just in case. And it looks like there's nothing, no, nothing at all. Oops, don't want to bring the phone up, but just wanted to run. Okay, can I speak to this man at all yet? No, I can't. There's someone over there now. Oh, let's have a chat a with her. You could oh! Malka, have you seen my friend Hans? He's not in great shape. I've got to find him. The little man? Yes, I've seen him. He's kind. He told me about mammoths and faraway places. So you have seen Hans. Where is he? He went to Circo's place. He said, I'm just going to drop in on an old friend. Oh, okay. I'm going to see what I can find. As you like, Kate Walker. That's good. Let's go see uh, that guy stood over there. Can I speak to him? No. I can't speak with him. So we'll just go to Circle's place. Yeah, this first uh, area's been fairly straightforward. How's it going? Father, Hans doesn't want to stay in the attic anymore. What happened? It's not his fault. How's it going? 
Your brothers, a good-for-nothing imbecile, Anna. You hear me? A feeble idiot. Hmm. How's it going? Siberia. Is it being poisoned or what? Because I saw the uh Kate Walker! What does all this mean? I don't know, Oscar. Hans has had a kind of fit, a kind of delirium. His health isn't exactly a hundred percent right now. Why, that's simply awful, Kate Walker! We must do something! Things cannot go on like this! Please, calm down. I'll see what I can do. Okay, Kate Walker, but do hurry! Okay. I was thinking just to have a chat with the guy down there. There was the two brothers in the bar in the short video we just saw. And uh, they were looking a bit suspicious. I have to say that. That's why I was wondering. Maybe they poisoned him. Are they still here? No. They were sat at this table over here. Howdy, Mr. Sirkos. Good day to you, Miss Walker. How's our friend Hans Sporrelberg coming along? Uh, not great news. Ah, uh, well, if I can be of service. Whatever you require, don't hesitate to shout. Mr. Sirkos, I'm worried about Hans's health. Dang, it's all my fault. Never should have asked him to do me that favor. What do you mean, favor? No major work or anything, just to get my wind-up Broncos back in again. Oh, don't blame yourself. Hans was already ill before he came to see you. You've got nothing to do with it. Mr. Sirkos, you wouldn't know someone who could treat Hans Varlberg, would you? Oh, not many pill pushers around here. Guess there's always the monks. The monks, you say? People around here say the Patriarch of the Monastery has healing powers. They also say he's a dingling, a bit of a fanatic, if you know what I mean. Well, whatever. I have no choice. Mr. Sirkos, could you please introduce me to the Patriarch of the Monastery? Hmm. Want my opinion? Best stay right away. Oh, why's that? Have you ever heard a showman and a priest sing a duet together? They think my cabaret is a den of debauchery, and that I'm a funky old miscreant luring lambs from the altar. Really, Mr. Sirkos, we're not in the 19th century anymore. But we're not too far here, Miss Walker. Believe me, best I don't put my finger in that pie. It's really cold around here. I can't go to the monastery dressed like this. Dead right, Miss Walker. Best to be careful in these temperatures. You wouldn't have something warm to lend me, would you, Mr. Sirkos? Um, <laughs> not gonna be easy, what with you having mighty different, uh, vital statistics and all, ma'am. Uh, yeah, maybe you're right. Please excuse me. I'm going to try to find some clothes someplace. Do the monks have a telephone? Uh, they don't even have electricity. You'll have to go up there in person, Miss Walker. Then try to convince them to take care of your friend. How do you get up to the monastery? When you go out of here, turn right. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. I've already seen where it is. It's colder than the North Pole out there, Mr. Sirkos. Do I have to go up to the monastery on foot? Don't even think about it, Miss Walker. Only pony can make it up there is Shank's pony. You're going to have to use your feet. I... Okay, I've got okay. to go quickly. Yep. Mighty kind, Mr. Sirkos. Well, did you get this working? If that's going to work... Yeah, something's missing. Can we go backstage? Can't. I've already looked at a lot of these. Nothing over here. Okay. Maybe I'll ask my little friend if she can help me. Malka? Yes, Kate. My friend Hans is very sick. He needs taking care of. Oh, otherwise he's going to die, isn't he? 
Like Mama. I don't know. He wants to get to the end of his journey so badly. Sometimes that is not enough, Kate. Since he was really young, Hans has dreamed of a land called Siberia. Siberia doesn't exist. It's just a story they tell kids to make them sleep. And I'm no kid anymore. I believe the story, though, Malka. So, you're going to have to help your friend, Kate. Tell me, do you know anyone who could help heal my friend Hans? Zirkos has special tonics in his bar. No, I need a real doctor. Then you'll have to go to the monastery. Mm -hmm. I suppose there are monks at the monastery. That's right. Monks with big black robes. They're really creepy. There's nothing to be afraid of. As monks, they must be good men. And you tell me they can treat Hans? The Patriarch is a stern old man. He won't treat your friend if you don't follow the monastery rules. Okay. How do you know that, Malka? He wouldn't look after Mama straight away. Because of the rules. That's why she's dead. I'm sorry, Malka. Thank you for your help. Come back and see me. I... Malka? Oops. Yes, Kate? No, 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 Thank no, no, you no, for no. your help. Yeah. Come back and see... Okay, so she's helped me. And that's already helped me. I don't need to be there. Uh, I think I'm going to need to speak to those blokes again. I oh, know I could go up to the shop first and speak to the guy up there. Maybe he's got a coat for me. And I can use the money that I stole from him. <laughs> Come on. Bit of a jog rather than a run, isn't it? Very slow. If he hasn't, then we'll last up with those brothers, which seemed a bit dodgy. Uh, can I go around the back of here? No, I can't. Colonel, please, can you help me? What can I do for you, Miss Walker? Would you have something to treat a fever? My friend is sick. I'm sorry. I sold my last pills last week. Is there a doctor around here? Or a pharmacy or something? Around these parts? Oh, that would surprise me. They say the monks up there can patch a man up. At least people around here go up there sometimes. Okay. Thanks for all your help, Colonel. You can't help me with a the coat. Pleasure is all so pretty much all the information I'm getting so far is... There's no doctors here. I have to go to the monastery. I could have probably just skipped a lot of these conversations. But I need to find a way to get up there. Because she's going to say it's too cold, I bet. When, once we're on the bridge, she'll be like, oh, it's too cold. I need a coat. So I already asked the barman for one. Can't speak to those guys. They're just for decoration. And let's see what happens. He's asleep. Dumb animal! All the cash it might have brought me gone up in smoke! Oh, okay. So does that mean... Eh? Candy? Who's Candy? Thank you for calling Candy Raw. Our offices are closed for the winter season, but we'll be delighted to deal with your order at the Thaw. In the meantime, why not try our delicious Hoing Ing, the bite-sized Asian fish candy with the sugary taste. Or our hazelnut stuffed Klondikes. Yeah, okay, okay. We're going this way. We're probably not going back in here. Yes. It's been barricaded. These folks don't like people just dropping in uninvited. <laughs> um, this way? No. I still can't operate this, right? Yep. 
that's going to work. Yep, something's missing, and the something missing is coins. That's going to work. No. Key. That's going no. I can't get across here. <sighs> it's really a bit too cold. Yeah. I'll be I... needing some warm clothes. Yep, 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 yep. I knew this. I just don't know where now to get warm clothes. No, it doesn't look like it can go there. Let's try to speak to these guys again. No, I've woke him up. He's back. It's better that I don't go. He's back. Okay. So what do I do then? Oscar. Maybe. Uh, I'm here, so I thought I'll drop in. I can have another chat. Mr. Sir Dialogues what, uploaded, I... updated even. Tell me, Mr. Sirkos, it was you who took in that little girl Malka into your care, wasn't it? I just couldn't bear to leave a little girl like that. What happened to her mother? Oh, a gypsy woman fleeing God knows what monkey business. She got here half dead and crazed with fever. The monks helped her, isn't that right? Uh, you could say that. When they stopped being high and mighty, they took her up to their monastery for treatment. But it was far too late for the poor girl. Them old crows make up their own rules. They'd leave a man to rot rather than get their habits dirty. I don't like them one bit, Miss Walker. What rules are you talking about? It's a phony old custom. To decide whether a dying man is actually dying at all, the patriarch of the monastery looks at the patient's face before deciding yay or nay. But how? I don't understand. They kind of make this print of the face on a piece of cloth, you know, like the Shroud of Jesus in the Bible. I must confess I don't really understand this Shroud story. You see, just outside the village, the monks have put this kind of iron box. A box containing a pile of linen sheets. When you put one of these sheets over the face of the sick man, it has the curious property of soaking up all his sweat and juices. So effective it is that all the features of his face can be seen on the cloth. And so the old patriarch looks to this print to form his diagnosis? At least what he can judge is whether that face on the shroud is sick enough to get dragged up those rocks to the monastery and be treated by him. I suppose anybody can take a cloth from the crate if he needs it? You suppose wrong, Miss Walker. One person has charge of the distribution of the said shrouds, and that's Malka. She sure is proud of her position. The Patriarch himself gave her the responsibility, and that kid ain't giving it up for no man, believe me. There's maybe some warm clothes in your music hall wardrobe. A few years ago, I had the pleasure of employing a mighty pretty singer who shared your dimensions, Miss Walker. I'm afraid the costume she wore that night might not lend much protection from the cold. <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm a dope. How do you get up to the monastery? When you go out of here, turn right. You... Thanks a lot. Okay. <clears throat> I've got to go now. Go quickly, Miss Walker. And good luck. Mighty kind, Mr. Sirkos. Okay. I'll speak to Malta. I was assuming previously that this would be over quickly, but it looks like it's turning into a bit of a meaty Tell quest. Me. How is it going? Monastery. You told me why they couldn't treat her at the monastery. Yes, Kate. Sometimes people get too sick and there's nothing that can be done. Is your friend too sick? I hope he isn't. I'm going to help you, Kate. Can you help me, Malka? Hmm. Only if your friend is a little bit sick. Not too much or you'll be sad. We'll see. 
Let's give it a try, you know? Like for your mother, with the monks. On the road to the monastery, there's a kind of box with sheets. The monks call them shrouds. I'm going to give you a token so you can get one. It's very important, Cakewalker. Then what do I do with this shroud? Take it and lay it over your friend's face. <sighs> okay, I'll give it a try. Okay, here we go Thank then. Thank you for your help. Come back and see me. I like you, Kate. Here we go then. Here we go then. Nothing I can say, but here we go then. We know where the box is. We've got a coin. Put the coin in. The uh, cloth will be dispatched or dispensed. Then I have to go all the way back to the train on his face and then I have to go all the way back somewhere else but I don't have a coat yet so I can't go up here if that's going to work ah, I took it off there we go take the cloth then yep uh, I don't need to do that you are done away you go Let's go see Hans Vorlberg and saturate the cloth with his sweat. This is some distance. Could have given a uh, skip option at that point. You've got the shroud. Do you want to, I don't know, fast travel to Hans? And then you say, yeah. And then you're in his car or something like that. Just avoids this walking because we know that's how you get there. Yeah, here we go. And in. Another four screens. Three. Two. And one. Shroud on your face. <laughs> okay. How's it going? Father, Hans doesn't. Yep, yeah, okay. So I will speak to Malka first. And while I'm up here, I will just go in the shop. No, no, I won't. I'll speak to Oscar. Speak to Oscar. I haven't spoke to him for a while. Oscar? Are you still here, Kate Walker? Mr. Forelberg needs. Oscar, is this the first time that Mr. Varlberg has had an illness like this? I don't know Mr. Varlberg any more than you do, Kate Walker. I am only an automaton after all. A machine born of creative genius. The feeling of concern I feel for my creator at this precise moment is merely the result of a wheelwork combination designed to produce just this effect. I don't like it when you talk like that, Oscar. If we go now, Oscar, we're sure to find someone who can help us on the way. Nothing of the sort, Kate Walker. The rest of our journey is long and perilous. What will we do if we encounter no help? I guess you're right. Okay. Oscar, I know where to get help for Mr. Varlberg. Where, Kate Walker? At the monastery, up there. At the top of that rocky crag. So, Kate Walker? What are you waiting for? Oscar, I... We have already wasted enough time, Kate Walker. I will tend to Mr. Forlberg during your absence. Okay. I'm going to the monastery to seek help, Oscar. Oh, please. Good. Oscar, I admit that gloomy monastery does give me the creeps. Do you think you could go with me? And Mr. Forlberg, who will take care of him? Yeah, yeah, of course. See you later, Oscar. Oscar. I should go try and get help in this town. Sadly, Kate Walker, there is... There must be some... Hans isn't feeling so great. Okay. I do not have sufficient knowledge of human... 
Okay. Of course. Please do hurry. Kate. Let's just as go and back over things that I we've kind help. of done. Kate Walker, I haven't a minute to lend you. I'm a. Yeah. Right. Yes. So the main task is uh, coat and and uh, do something with this shroud, this cloth, this face print of hands. Colonel, please. What? Our route is still long, and my friend is suffering. Siberia is hellish cold. I was told the Patriarch of the Monastery can diagnose illness if he's shown a cotton sheet marked with the feverish... Here in Mother Russia, Katyuchka, there are stranger tales to be told. Okay. I want to go up to the Monastery, but it's so cold outside. Would you have some warm clothes to loan me? Maybe so. I might find what you want up in the attic. I'll get the ladder out. I'll pay you for what I use, of course. Don't you worry, Kachuchka. You're a true ray of sunshine in this dusty old shop. And we don't see sunshine here every day. Can he climb up the ladder? You'll find something that'll fit you in the attic, I'm sure. Ah, thank you. There you go, miss. Colonel, please, can you have... What can you I had do? more conversation options, I just want to From finish them heard, off. Colonel, the Patriarch of the Monastery... I'm just an old Cossack. And to me, there's only one real... I could shut up vodka. Your hands for sure. <laughs> Thanks for the Yeah, thank you very much. A lot of the conversation seems to be repeat uh, repetitive. So I don't really want to go over it all, all every now, time. Where to find some place appropriate to slip into this? The bathroom on the train. That's the best place. Well, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you very much for watching today. If you've enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, as always, um, I always ask for it, but uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. It helps me out tremendously. But thank you very much for watching now. <sighs> At last, Bye. A bit of privacy for once. Toasty and not unelegant even.